4,000 tons of trash comes in here every day. All day and all night, workers sort trash. Metals, glass, and other recyclables come out. The organics, kitchen trash plants, go into these tanks to ferment into electricity and compost. The rest, only 5%, gets burned into ash. Everything but the ash gets reused or sold. Entrepreneur Ali Kantour runs ITC. He got it started with a loan from the World Bank. Did we do something? No. We are imitating the nature. We are just speeding up. The old trash dump here for 20 years was ugly and smelled. Methane gases built up in the garbage and sometimes exploded. Chemicals leaked into the groundwater. Now the dump operates like any other business and the neighbors notice the difference. Suna Arjun works for ITC and notices the city creeping closer. After getting rid of all these uh, negative impacts of waste area, the uh, neighboring area uh, started to be a new uh, region for housing, for shopping malls, new center for Ankara. The idea is to turn trash into clean energy, reducing dangerous gases and turning a profit. Greenhouses heated by the landfill's energy are filled with tomatoes. ITC sold 100 tons of them last year. Ahmed Gul runs the greenhouse. When people hear about what we do, they are sort of grossed out by the idea of getting food from a dump. But then they come here and visit and they change their minds. There are no hormones, no pesticides. We use bees for what we produce, and they like that. In the future, the electricity produced here and at other similar operations will go into the country's main grid. Eventually, Turkish officials hope to produce 5% of the country's energy from garbage. ITC provides 2.5% of Ankara's energy today. So what's keeping the lights on? It could be those old vegetable peelings from last week's dinner.